Hello. Everybody hear me okay? Hi, Shari. Hi, Doris. Just making sure I got everything set up okay. Hi, Belinda, how are you? How is everybody tonight? Did everybody have a good weekend? We're gonna be working on a grapevine wreath tonight and we're gonna be using this sign that says fresh eggs. I added all the links um, in, my, in the first comment this is a sign that I sell in my Etsy shop. So, we might as well get started. This uh, grapevine is kind of like an oval shape. It's an 18 inch. Say hello if you're just joining us. I actually um, found some eggs at Walmart. So, I was painting eggs today because we have chickens and our chickens don't lay white eggs. We actually, um, hi Nanny Dot, ours lay tan, dark brown. Um, we had one that used to lay blue. So the ones that lay the dark brown are the um, Blue Splash Marins and they're a highly nutrient dense egg and it's it's sought after by French chefs. Who knew? Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start off, I'm not sure where I'm gonna place my sign yet, so I'm gonna lower you guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Can you see okay? Maybe I have to adjust my light some, sorry. There. All right. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and make my bow first because I know what I want to put in the wreath, but my bow is going to determine, thank you, Carla, it's going to determine where my sign goes because um, this pretty much stretches across the whole wreath. So I could put it like this. I could put it across like this. I could put it at the top if I wanted. So again, I'm not sure where I wanna put that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my bow first, okay? I don't know about you guys, but it's cold outside. It was beautiful over the weekend. And I lost a peg, so we're going to use that peg. <laughs> so if you're just joining us, we're going to do a, a, a grapevine wreath with a chicken sign. I'm going to put this across like this. I don't, I don't like using two wires, so I'm going to run it like that. Okay. Now these are the ribbons that I picked out. Um, again, this comes close to the sign. It's got the chicken wire on it. Hello, Sue. Um, I also have this that has chickens, farm animals on it. Then I have these. I'm trying to go with all the colors in the sign. There's a black in there, so I really want to make it look more country, so that's why I chose those. And I have this too if I want to use this, and I also have it in red too if I want to put it in the background, which I may do before we put it on the wreath. So let's just go ahead and start with our ribbon. Let's start with the black one first. 
Well, it's nice to meet you, Sue. Welcome. Is this your first time? I introduced myself to Belinda one day online. I think it was a snow day, wasn't it, Belinda? I keep forgetting. When I switch bow makers, there are some where I start with the, the wider on the bottom, but this is not that one, so <laughs> I'll get it together. Hi, Dawn. Dawn is my business buddy. All right, so we're going to, like I said, we're starting with the uh, bow first. Because that's going to determine where I'm going to place my sign. So did everybody have a nice weekend? It was beautiful. So what the heck? Now we have all these... Uh, Tornadoes and everything going through. There was an F1 tornado a couple towns over. I don't like that. Now I'm going to go back towards what we call the boyfriend peg so I can get it really tight. Dawn made a beautiful bow today. I'm so proud of her. I'll probably find my other peg under the table somewhere when I clean. <laughs> Usually rolls under there. And like I said, I'm going for country, like farmhouse with this one so I don't know about the way you guys decorate but I love farmhouse just ask any of my friends so I think I'm gonna go with two rows here of this one and let me kind of put this up so I can read the comments better on here I've got my uh, phone rubber band to the, to the unit so it won't fall. And I see Cindy's on. Hi, Cindy. Cindy's another one of my puppy moms. Nanny Dot, my puppy sitter, is on. She got to watch my babies this weekend. And if I'm not on my live next Monday, please understand I'm probably birthing puppies. Woohoo! I got one that is might be ready. We'll know on Thursday how many she's carrying, so I will post it on here for you. This is her last litter, my Casey. No, I'm not too kind. You did an awesome bow. I think Dawn stepped out of her comfort zone. <laughs> That's why she's feeling a little, a little nervous. I stepped out of mine and I started doing florals. And I sold both of them this weekend and could have sold more if I had more with me. So that's, that's awesome. Although you could say they really couldn't see too well. <laughs> Maybe that's why they liked them so much. Okay. I don't know. I'm thinking the black one should go next. 
because I don't like the way that is just right against that. So I think I'll do the black one and then do this one last. And again, I have the red I can add to it too. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Arlo. Are you watching me? Arlo is one of my little puppies. His mommy is the other one that's due the middle of May. So his mom and dad will be parents again. We'll have a box of chocolates. They'll be chocolate Yorkies. Arlo, can you hear me? Is he looking for me, Cindy? He's my little cutie pie. We're doing the bow first because it's an oval grapevine and I'm not quite sure where I'm placing the sign yet. So I wanted to do the bow first and kind of figure out where that's gonna go and then we'll know where I'm gonna put the, the uh, sign. a lot of people were without power today even the Walmart in Lewisburg didn't have any power <laughs> Arlo are you watching mommy Robin on the on the on the computer hey handsome they remember mommy Robin they go nuts when they hear me, they run around the house looking for me. I have two borders right now, Gracie and Oreo. So they're gonna be here for a week. So it's gonna be fun this week. Let me get the red. See, I think I'm going to put this in back of it to kind of offset it. <laughs> you guys can hear me okay, right? Maybe I'll just leave it as ties for right now, just to be in the background. I think that'll be good. I'll go ahead and dovetail it. it off. Now sometimes if I don't feel the wire is tight enough I will put a zip tie in there because I, I can do a zip tie a lot better sometimes than I can the wire. So I'll use this black one because it won't show as much as the white one will. It's just another way for me to get a little uh, grip on it and tighten it up some. And if I can't grab that real good, then I just grab my needle nose and pull it. There we go. That's nice and tight. 
Okay. Get out my fluff box that my husband made me for Christmas. Okay. going to go ahead and distribute everything. So if I got a loop going one way, I want a tail going the other way. Ooh, look at that black, how that pops. That looks amazing. Does anybody else have a fluff box? Do you have one, Belinda? They're really easy to make. Need to get a handle for it that way it's easier to pick it up at times See the construction underneath? It's just four pieces of wood attached to each other, and then the one flat piece on top with two screws. Do you have one, Dawn? Here comes the fun part. Okay, I can put it down at the bottom. I'll turn it around so you all can see. I can put the sign at the top and the bow at the bottom. Of course, this stuff is getting stuck on all the, okay, got that, it's in a bad place. See, that can go down there. Don, I, he, all he has to do is ask Joe. Joe can give him all the measurements. It's really not that difficult to make. And it, to me, it's really helpful. Okay, there, or do we put that there in the middle? wreath. It's got little pieces of twigs sticking out. I thought I had them all trimmed. I guess I did. Or we could put it over there and lean the sign this way. What do you think? The bottom and this at the top or on the side. Any suggestions? Hi, Carol. Well, I think we'll stick it up top here. If nobody's got any suggestions, we'll stick the bow at the bottom. Yeah, because then I can twist my tails to go down. Alright, that's where we're going to put it. We're going to put it at the bottom. Bottom, Sue? 
Pat says bottom. All right, we go to the bottom. Let me tie it on there. Again, this is an 18 inch oval shape. Actually, I'm gonna take this through some of the twig so it's not showing on the outside. That's the fun part, trying to weed it through. There we go. I don't know, this last batch of grapevines sure are messy. I didn't have that with the last batch I got from Sims. bottom and get some of this going down. I know I'll end up fluffing it back up again before I'm done. I think I want it to go that way. There we go. And I want this up here. Some of the ribbon is really firm, and then the other is really sloppy, like floppy, not sloppy. <laughs> okay, now we'll go ahead and mount our sign, and we'll mount that at the top. And I can put a small bow at the top also. dense up here. Come on. There we go. that back through. Grapevines are stubborn. There we go. Trying to get more leverage in the back here to really get it put in place so I can just tuck that up in there too. Alright, got one side. We'll do the other. 
Hi, Marty. How are you? Is your sister's wreath still in one place? Marty's sister came to one of my classes and made a wreath, and the darn birds are attacking it. Okay, sign mounted and bow mounted. I thought this would be kind of pretty going up that way. All right, now I have flowers we can put on or I have this. This could be placed around here. And then I was going to make some pockets with the, uh, what's this stuff called, raffia. And make little nest-like areas. Or we have this, which I got from um, Craft Outlet. It's actually um, chicken wire, which I can loop that around. These darn little twigs. I could loop that around like that. Oh. And then put some of the raffia in there and attach an egg. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jean. How are you? Sarah is my stepdaughter, which, sorry, we couldn't, we couldn't join, you know, catch up with you this weekend. I don't know. What do you think? I think it looks good with that. And then put some raffia. Attach it to the chicken wire, and then put some eggs on. What do you think? I have some flowers, too. Well, geez, that's great, Jean. Because Belinda's on, and her sister just joined us, too, for the first time. Welcome. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. I think I like the chicken wire on here. Can you guys see it? What do you think? You like it, Cherry? No flowers. Okay, chicken wire, raffia, and eggs then. What do you think? I think that'll be a good combination. If I can get past these darn twigs. Holy cow. They are catching on everything. Oh. I'll just wrap it around like I'm doing. And then I can position it. I think that's looking rustic and country. I'm liking it. Okay, we're ditching that idea. <laughs> I always come prepared with a few things because this is a work in progress. It's um it's artistry at work here. <laughs> I'm liking that. All right. I can create little pockets of raffia here. I was going to bring down our eggs and show you our eggs too, but my luck, I'll trip down the steps with all of them. 
so okay let's see how we can do this here see I can tuck some of this under possibly nope that's not looking good all right let me see here I know the wire really really makes it look nice maybe if I just create like a nest what do you think like put a nest up here we want to still stick with our triangles so I could make a nest here a nest here and a nest here and then put a couple eggs in it oh, okay what do you think that think it looks good like that there's got to be a delay on here <laughs> somewhere or just do I think I like the three nests better I don't know don't really have anything else to use as a nest that's going to work except this and I'm trying to figure out what no that's going to take away from that I'm trying to see, I know, maybe if I took a leaf and I glued it to the bottom of the leaf and then glued the leaf to the, I think that'll hold it best. So I want to keep it on there. I don't want to, so I could use this too, but I don't know, that doesn't look realistic enough, like the like the raffia does. I think we'll just use a leaf. Glue it to the bottom of the leaf. No, I don't have any of that spray, Jean. I, I think I can disguise the leaf enough that um, we'll be okay. Let's try it. That way I have something solid for it to rest on. Come on. Now we got a stubborn leaf on a stubborn And of course, all my sticks are gone. There we go. Bought myself a glue pot, finally. I'm, I'm not always this patient, believe me. Usually I'll, I'll vent. But I'm behaving myself because I don't want to say anything nasty. <laughs> I 
and I try to figure it out as I go. I talk out loud a lot. And after I'm done, I can trim this up because it's a little squirrely right now, but until we get it in place and get those eggs in there. Well, thanks, Sue. Did you? What kind did you have? We have Blue Splash Marins. We have Golden Laced Wine Dots and Buff Orbingtons. We did have some um, Rhode Island Reds, but uh, they, they died of old age because we won't eat them. <laughs> no, really, Trish? There, I can manipulate it. You should have seen me trying to paint these darn things today. Funny. Okay, there's nest number one. How's that look? You guys see it okay? I know we had a, um, the one we had that laid the blue eggs, she was an Americana. So I don't know if that's the same one that you had. We called her Amy. She was a great chicken. We have one out there now, um, Sunshine. We raised her in the garage last year because all the other ones were picking on her so bad during the winter. She is the sweetest chicken, too. Ah. My husband calls the one curly because her uh, little thing on her head is kind of curled up some. And I am overloaded with eggs right now. They weren't laying and now all of a sudden that's all they're doing. I've got like eight dozen eggs in the refrigerator. And we went to see my stepdaughter and my grandchildren on Saturday. And uh, <laughs> I forgot to take eggs. Thank you. Let's see. And I'll tell you what, this, this glue pot is nice because it's not burning my finger. Look at that. And for those of you just joining us, um, I got these at Walmart and painted them today. I think we're going to have just enough raffia too.
I love this glue pot. I tried a little frying, one of those electric frying pans, and that just was not working. Um, the bottom of it got extremely hot. You couldn't get near it, and I was afraid to use it on my craft table. So I went ahead and got it. It's a, it's called a Shore Bonder. And I just touched a little bit of it and it didn't even burn. I had a blue egg here somewhere because I thought, well, maybe for a little pop of color I'd add it. And now I don't even know where it went. And I didn't move anything off the table. Where are you? I thought it was right here. Well, I'll find it. It's around here somewhere. Let's trim this up some. So we don't need all that in there. Give it a little bit of a rounded look. to find that other egg because I think that's just what it needs. Here it is. How about I put just that little one right up top there? Oh, I think that that's just a little pop. How's that? Look good? Can everybody see it? A little bit of glue string. Have to I know I saved the box from it, yeah. See it's Do you see it? I really like it. Now, I don't know. Do we need to add any little pops of color anywhere? Like a little bit of hops. Um, I have some flowers. If you think we need some flowers, thank you. I have some... Or you think that makes that's too busy. Or just maybe a few of the, the straight stems like these. Like down in here near the bow. I think it, I think it does too, Jean. I'm thinking maybe some of these. Just right down near the bow, not take it up real high. I'm just placing it. If we if we like it then I'll go back and glue it. Just for little pops of color. I have some little daisies. I have some of these blue, I'm not sure what these are called. Yeah, I even have some um, fern that I can cut down. Maybe I'll layer it, put the fern first, and then layer. Because it just looks a little naked. 
What do you think of that? And then maybe just a little red flower right there. What do you think about that? I'll trim this up a little better. I need another fern. Yep. Over here. Even have some little daisies too. I don't know if we need hops in there. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Add some daisies cut. We can cut some more. Hi, Jean H. <laughs> I want to know what those birds are doing to your wreath. I'm hearing so you got some nasty birds down there. How dare they? How's that looking? Well, welcome, Deb, from Kentucky. Thank you for joining us. We're glad you're here. A 
Okay, what do we think? I think it needs something just a little more right there. Maybe some more hops. Well, thank you. I'm glad Lori sent you. She's an awesome lady. I think that would be too much back there. <coughs> Excuse me. I even have some blue that we can pop in there too. If you think it needs it. Nope, I think that's too big for that side. But that might fill in this side. Nope. Maybe just these little white flowers. The red flower on the left, this one here, which is my right. You think it's up too high? So you're thinking like right there? goes better there. Okay. How's that? This needs to go up just a little bit. This one here is still a little too high. Okay, you mean down closer to the bow. Like the other one. this down a little. I got to get an easel next so I can see what I'm looking at. Here. Um, 
if, if I shorten the fern a little bit and kind of bring everything down, lower it a little. I could move the hops in that area there. And bring this down. I see what you're saying. It's just going to take me a little time here to figure out. It's right there. All right, I know. Let's move these out. We'll pull the hops over. There. I'll shorten this a little. It's this leaf. Yep. How's that? Better? Thank you, Leslie, for sharing. Better? to straighten my bow up again. Love it. Thanks, Dawn. <laughs> this, is, this is out of my comfort zone, but I'm getting better. Because I, um, it's hard when you're looking at it down like, I really need to be looking at it up. So, I think I'll be making myself an easel this weekend if I'm not delivering puppies. There. And then I'll trim this up a little. Fluff my bow up some. And then I think we're done. I like that. Now, one more thing. Do you think it needs anything up top? Like right in here or here? Yeah, you're right. I'm thinking I need to bring that up top somehow that color. 
because we got all this color going on down here and there's not enough up top. So what do you think? Just that one flower? Some greenery? Okay. We got fern. Maybe uh, just a tip or two up top. It just, it just looks like it needs just a little something to balance it. Because this has got so much going on down here. green on both sides it's too big okay what if what if I cut it down and just put a few let me just try it you guys are being my eyes tonight Just a few of the buds. Nope. Does that look okay or should we go with a little yellow flower up top? No, that's too close to the coloring of the um, the um, the nest. I don't like that. Let me just look and see what I got. Maybe no, not liking that. Go with just some of the hops up top and see. So what do you think of the hops? That's smaller. Is that better? You like the itty bitty? <laughs> okay. We like the itty bitty. Now I can't find the itty bitty. There it is. What about that with the hops at the top with the little itty bitty? Should I do itty bitty on both sides or just itty bitty on one side? You guys are awesome at helping. Just like that. What do you think? Yes? Try <laughs> You guys. I think that just gives it just a little bit of pop and 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 it kind of ties everything together. Yeah, I I think it looks balanced now. Just that little bit. And I'm not using the blue or the yellow, so it's not, you know, interfering with the nest itself. Oh, I love it. Then I'll go ahead and glue all these in place. And we got it. 
think this one's too long over here. Maybe over here. There we go. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Nanny Dot. All right. So what do you want to see next week? You want to see, um, there's several things I've got in my creative pad. I've got a cow wreath. Um, I've got a bicycle wreath. <laughs> Only if you pay first, Jean. <laughs> Oh, you're good. <laughs> um, so what do you think you want to see? Or we could be birthing puppies and we could do that live. If anybody wants to see that. Yeah, patriotic. It just seems like when I have an idea to do a patriotic, someone in the group is doing one. So it's kind of like I want to do... You know, I wanted to do something that might be appropriate for, like, Mother's Day. Like, that's why I thought the bicycle one would be an awesome one to do. I'm making my own sign. I have, um, I have these colors. Can you see that? Like the pinks and the greens. I thought that was pretty. Um... I have a pineapple wreath I'm going to be doing. Also, a lemon wreath I'm going to be doing. Where's at home? Is that like a, a, a store near you? <laughs> I know, I love that ribbon. I, I should, okay. I'm going to take you off the mount, and I'm going to turn you around because you have to see the awesome um, shelves that my husband built me. I actually found this one shelving unit at a store. It was closing out, and we went to look at it, and I said, it's perfect. I know what I want you to do with it. So let me, uh, oh, and Charlotte, that's awesome. Let me take you off that, and... Look at those. Are they not amazing? And guess what? I ran out of room already. I need another one. We got this one, and he put all the shelves on it for me. And then he built that one for me. It just gives this whole area so much more room than what I had before. So it's a home decor place. Okay, cool. I know. I always go for the 50 rolls um, because I do classes in my home. And uh, that way with the 50 rolls, we have enough. I know. Didn't he do an awesome job? I just love them. And see what was hindering me in the beginning, I was constantly going out and buying ribbon. And with this, now I, when I have a project like this, I can look at all the colors. They're not like stacked on top of each other at the back of the shelf. Like, here's some of the ones I got for, uh, for my patriotic one. And I got, I have some really cool truck signs I'm gonna be making. So I found this in white and I found it in the beige. So that's going to be um, a neat one to do. I found some pineapple ribbon, some lemon. Um, I got a lot of daisies now. I got yellow, uh, orange with daisies. There's purple with daisies. Uh, this one here with daisies. Yeah, but except... <laughs> the day he, we put this in I had another uh, order of ribbon come in and I said to him I'm like I'm out of ribbon space already so 
I, I think what I'm going to do, I already bought the PVC pipe. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to build the other one on the other side of the work area. Because this is pretty much, we usually have four people at this area here working. I have another table over there. Um, you know, so. Sure, Marty. Can you see it okay? I think the the flowers look awesome. I am I was I was really nervous about it tonight because I thought, oh boy. I know that the only thing that's going to look right on here are flowers and and I'm just learning that stage. So um you know, I was a little nervous about doing it in front of you guys, I'll be honest. <laughs> but those, those ribbon racks just free up so much space on the side of the table. It's, it's amazing. And now we can see everything. So, I know, right? Well... I tell you, I went to see my aunt this weekend, and she lives in a retirement community. And um, she said, I want you to bring me a wreath down for my neighbor. He wanted to buy a horrible one in the store, and I told him, my niece makes better wreaths than that. Wait till she comes down. <laughs> so when I went down, I took like three with me, because I didn't know price range, what the gentleman had, you know, uh, what he had financially, what he could afford, so I took three. He bought one, she bought the other one, and then she said, leave the other one behind, I'm sure I'll find somebody to buy it. And I did, and she called me that night and said, somebody bought it and I could have sold three more. <laughs> so these are kind of nice for them because they're in a hallway and they, their, their doors don't have access to the, to the elements or the birds. So she said, you're going to have to make a bunch at, um, for the fall. And she said, um, you're just going to have to come down and set up in my living room. <laughs> so I guess that's what I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be doing. Um, she's really leery about me shipping them and I've shipped them before. And I tie them, I anchor them to the bottom of the box. So even if they knock the box over, it's not gone anywhere. It's going to stay pretty much in that box. And it won't move until they uh, cut the ties, you know, when they open the box. So I think what I'm going to do is make a bunch like this and send them down to her. And because... Uh, or just send her pictures and say, look, okay, this is what I made this week, you know? Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. But she was awesome. I mean, it's really great having her around now that my mother has passed. She's an amazing woman, and uh, she was older than my mother, and she's just a great support system, you know? So I just love her. And I hope she's around a long time. Because when she goes, that's it, you know. And it's really hard around Mother's Day, but at least I can, you know, call her and talk to her. So, all right. Well, I've got six Yorkies, two pregnant Yorkies, and two boarders to go take care of. So... I'll, I'll shoot for the bicycle one next week, and then I'll look into doing one um, possibly with the truck because I have a sign I'm making for that wreath. So, But if you have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to call me I really or contact me. I really appreciate you hanging out and giving me um, support, and I'll... Uh, Hopefully, I'll be seeing you next week 
or or if I'm not, I'll let you know I'm delivering puppies. <laughs> Thanks, Dawn. I appreciated you coming by. Everybody's probably over at Jonathan's. <laughs> he seems to attract all the women with his little niece. So, all right. Well, have a good evening. Thanks again. And don't forget to share. I appreciate it. Good night. Yes, please do, Jean. I'd like that. I would really enjoy that. Because I've, I've thought about doing one with a swing. Um, you know. Yes, I'll talk to you soon, Marty. We'll schedule another class where you can come back and do the, the other chicken wreath, okay? I hope you're feeling better. All right, good night.